What's up guys, Jesse here again, and today we're gonna to talk about a really cool event that we're gonna have on Saturday. It is gonna be Anarchy Barbell and Athletics' first ever Halloween Havoc team workout. So, what we're gonna do here is, that if you know me, I love everything about Halloween. One thing that I really love about it are the horror movies that I watch. I try and watch them all, all the good ones, all the really bad ones. Um, I just love this time of year. Um, so what we're gonna do is I work into the workouts these horror movie cliches, something that most horror, all horror movies follow, um, and I found a way to actually incorporate them into a workout with more traditional lifts as well. So, I have Celine here, for those of you who don't know, Celine is actually one of the trainers here at Anarchy Barbell. She is also the one who designed and placed this bad boy up on the wall. So if you see her in class, if you see her around, and you think this is rad, please thank her because she has everything to do with it. So, she's going to be my partner for today. We're going to walk you guys through it. We have four eight-minute AMRAPs mixed in with some breaks in between, but again, trying to work in the horror movie cliches and work in traditional workouts as well. So, it's going to be a lot of fun. Definitely still going to sweat, so let's get started. All right, guys, so the first movie, uh, horror movie cliche that came to my mind was the car. All right, the car in the film runs as if you drove it off the lot, perfect, full of gas, everything's looking great. And then the killer comes up behind you and all of a sudden the car doesn't work. It never turns on, something happens, they never explain what happens, but the car never turns on. So basically, we're gonna mimic a dead car. And because we're taking on the horror film uh, kind of cliches here, we're gonna make some bad decisions, we're gonna get out of the car, and we're gonna push it. So to mimic this cliche, we're gonna go ahead and do partner sled drags, as if we were pushing that dead car. To do this correctly, you and your partner will go ahead and grab one side of the sled, You'll grab, and then we're gonna go about 60 feet. Now, because I'm in vans and Celine isn't exactly in running shoes either, we're gonna go about 15 feet and show you how to do it, okay? So you sit with your partner, and you go one, two, three, and four. Okay. And then you push back. Dead there. As I was going to say, as you can <laughs> see, it actually takes some coordination with your partner to make sure that the sled stays as straight as possible. So, the weights will be adjusted to you and your partner's strength capabilities so that we try and keep you guys as narrow or as straight as possible, okay? So, first eight minute AMRAP, you'll do one down and one back. We'll partner that with uh, dumbbell clean and shoulder to overheads, okay? We will synchronize that. I'll tell you more about that actually during the workout, but this was cliche number one, the car that never starts. All right guys, cliche number two is the gonna go back and save my friend horror movie cliche. The friend that's more than likely gonna die anyway, <laughs> exactly. All they're gonna do is just slow you down. You know that friend is gonna die, but you still go back for him because friendship is forever. So, we're gonna do this. How we're gonna mimic this is actually, you're gonna take your partner, okay? You're gonna have one partner face you. The safest way to get your partner over your shoulder is for them slowly to lean over whatever shoulder you want them to go on. So you'll get underneath, they lean over, you take their weight, and then you walk. Again, past the second uh, bathroom, you set them down, and then you switch, okay? And you walk back. Now, for those of you who are not comfortable either being carried or carrying somebody, totally fine. Speak it over with your partner if you guys decide you don't want to do this. We have another way to do it, and they're called farmer's walks. Farmer's walks involve heavier dumbbells than you're used to doing because all you're going to do is hold them. But you're going to go ahead, take them off the ground, keep your shoulder blades straight, and take off. This is surprisingly difficult, way more difficult than it actually looks. Okay, For any of you who have taken my Saturday classes before, you know just how difficult a farmer's walk can be. If you ask me, I'd much rather carry my partner than carry two heavy dumbbells at my side. Okay. We will partner that with alternating burpee box jumps, okay? Again, this is an eight minute AMRAP. I will give you the reps when you get here, but burpee box jumps, gonna go get your friend who's gonna die anyway. Horror movie cliche number two. Yeah. All right guys, cliche number three, we're actually gonna reverse roles. We will no longer be the hunted, we will be the hunter, all right? And one of the uh, biggest things that all uh, characters do in a horror movie is run into either a room or a closet and think they're going to be safe, all right? And lo and behold, the hunter finds them and either knocks the door down, kicks it open, and in this particular case, like Jack Nicholson in The Shining or Michael Myers in Halloween, we are going to sledgehammer the door uh, by hitting the sledgehammer, or by hitting the tire with the sledgehammer, okay? 
We're gonna do five on each arm, okay? Please, and I will position this uh, accordingly, we will stay out of the way of everyone else, all right? Nobody will get injured here. Um, I have a video on my website on how to correctly hit a uh, throw the sledgehammer onto the tire, so please view that, and I will attach that to today's workout as well, or um, into the Facebook group as well. So, Celine here, taking on the role of the hunter, is going to go ahead and give her five. Give me some aggression. Oh yeah, oh yeah, she's terrified. There we go. That's the one I'm scared about. One more, switch arms. Okay. Okay, good. Strike it down. You and your partner will go five and five on each arm. When you're done, okay, relax right there. Aww. You and your partner will go ahead and uh, mix that up with uh, pull-ups, okay? Strict pull-ups if you can do pull-ups, no kipping today, um, and then banded pull-ups if you need it, okay? Remember, five on each arm, each partner will do it, so a 10 total, 10 pull-ups. That is horror cliche and AMRAP number three. All right, guys, cliche number four, uh, one that all horror movies have, of course, is the chase. The hunter has finally caught the one that they're hunting for, and they chase them down, whether it's through haunted woods, through a house, down the street, wherever. Every horror movie has it. So, how do we mimic that? You and your partner will decide who will go first. One will be the hunter, one will be the hunted. The hunted, in this particular case, will go ahead and just call, us, or call her Celine. She's gonna go out. You will give her a five count head start. One, 1,000, two, 1,000, three, 1,000, four, 1,000, five, 1,000. At five, the hunter will carry that 14 pound medicine ball. You will run 400 meters. If you catch the hunted, she now has to hold the 14 pound medicine ball the rest of the way. And you will chase each other trying to get away so that you don't have to run your 400 meters with the 14 pound medicine ball, okay? That's gross. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's surprisingly tough, guys. If you've done any of my workouts where I have you hold that, it's not really hard, it's just more annoying. So I would definitely be running away very fast. I would rather do a fast 400 with just my body weight than 14 pounds more. So, you come in, you finish your 400 meters after being chased, you can go ahead and drop it. We'll do as close as possible synchronized singles under the jump rope, okay? Again, as close as possible, it doesn't have to be perfect, but something that looks like you're trying to match, all right? Everyone does singles, no double unders in this workout, okay? When you're done, again, talk to your partner, who's the hunted, who's the hunter, give them a five count head start, and then chase them with the 14 pound medicine ball. And that is AMRAP number four. All right guys, so, that is our uh, Anarchy Barbell's first ever Halloween Havoc. That is the workout. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this, guys. Again, I'm trying to make it, you know, just something different on a, on a Saturday morning, work in these different cliches, but also still actually make sure that you guys will have a great workout. We just demoed it, and there were times when we were pretty out of breath, so I assume that it's gonna be tough. Remember, it's gonna be four eight-minute AMRAPs, a couple minutes in between for a break and just to uh, reposition ourselves. Uh, should it take more than an hour? And if you can, I actually will go ahead and try and wear a costume if you want. Something that's breathable. Please don't come in with a full-on crazy-ass <laughs> rubber mask, full garb. Something that's clever, something that's fun. I don't plan on spending any money. I'm just going to look at my closet and think what I can do. Um, but again, just kind of adds to the fun of the day. And you know, again, my favorite time of year, guys. I love Halloween. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, again, if you see Celine in the gym, and you, again, you love the logo, let her know, we actually are wearing our new shirts, okay, new designs on the website, Anarchy Barbell and Athletics. If you like the shirt, please go ahead, go to our website, anarchybarbell.com, purchase one and we'll get it to you as fast as possible. Also on there, we have videos, especially for the um, tire slams, on how to correctly position the sledgehammer, how to hold it, how to keep yourself safe. And we will go over that anyway uh, at the start of the class. So, I hope to see you guys there. We're gonna have a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to it, and yeah. Let's just have some fun on a Halloween weekend. All right, see you later.